Barbacoa se viven altas. Waves driven by Hurricane Ike pound the shores of Cuba. The storm was a Category 3, but weakened to a Category 2 as it struck the eastern end of the island nation. Ocean waters flooded streets close to the beach. Waves are reported to have washed over buildings as tall as five stories. Cuba's vice president told people to be prepared for a strong impact from the hurricane. As Ike approached, more than 900,000 Cubans evacuated to shelters or higher ground. The storm has proven deadly in other parts of the Caribbean. In Haiti, nearly 60 deaths have been attributed to Ike. Fights broke out as 3,000 people lined up to get food and other assistance from the United Nations. People are walking in the downtown park with a lot of uh, water and it's very difficult to, to have uh, transportation and, uh, and to bring the relief uh, support in, uh, in, those, uh, in those various areas. Ike raked the Bahamas where people were still on the beach Sunday, but officials urged people not to be fooled by pleasant conditions. Hurricane Ike, I repeat, is a dangerous storm, a dangerous hurricane indeed. A hurricane that will cause tremendous damage to trees and to vegetation. Back in Cuba, Ike will likely hit the capital of Havana early Tuesday. The National Hurricane Center says it could take until early Wednesday for Ike to move away from Cuba. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.